uh, <coughs> a great honor to be recognized by the Entomological Society of India. In fact, <coughs> I have received many awards, but this one is very special because it is from the Entomological Society of India. That is the main thing. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir, grazing, for grazing the occasion here. So now I humbly request Dr. C. A. Viraktamak, sir, to please come to the stage. And I request the audience to welcome him with a huge round of applause, please. Dr. C. A. Viraktamat, sir, is the father of contemporary taxonomy in India. He served as a professor of entomology at University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore, and he specialized in systematics of leafhoppers, cicadalidae. And he has helped in development of a synoptic insect collections at University of Agriculture Sciences, Bangalore. And he has guided a generation of students in insect taxonomy. I thank uh, Entomology Society of India, the premier society in the country, who could recognize you know, a taxonomic worker and then honor him. Uh, and Dr. Ramurthy also mentioned something today morning. I would like to contribute one lakh rupees for that, so that taxonomy is fostered in the country. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir, for honoring the occasion. So next is Dr. G. P. Gupta, sir. And uh, due to reasons, he could not reach us here. So he was a former professor, Division of Entomology, ICRIRA. And he has immensely contributed in the cotton pest management, and especially in toxicological studies. And uh, for uh, moving forward, I'm requesting Dr. Krishnan Singh Kokar, sir, to please come forward to the stage. <laughs> Sir, as a former Vice Chancellor of ha Haryana Agricultural University, Hisar, and he served in ICR as ADG, Planning and Implementation and Monitoring Unit for more than 10 years. And he has contributed to the management aspects of all the major crop pests in the country. So it's a very honor for all of us to fel felicitate you here, Sir. honored. I am indebted to Entomological Society of India with which I am associated since 1969 as a final year BSc student when I become a member of this. Now this award is special to me because it's my marriage anniversary today. My wife is no more. She was insect taxonomist, also a principal scientist with Dr. Ramamurthy in IRI, 
headed the Department of Entomology at CHU and Dean College of Agriculture. She, wherever she is, she must be having happy today to receiving me this award. Actually, when I take this 22, is a very important day, number in my life. 22, I joined my service. My wife also joined service on 22. She passed away on 22. I received award on 22. So that's all coincidence or whatever they got decide. Thank you. Thank you so much. For th thank you very much, sir, for grazing the occasion. Moving to the next slide. Next, life, Lifetime Achievement Award is for Dr. Mohammed Hayat. He also could not make to come over here. So, sir was a formal professor of Department of Zoology, Aligarh Muslim University. And he has immensely contributed in insect taxonomy, especially in parasitic Hymenoptera. Next, Lifetime Achievement Award is for Dr. N. Ramakrishnan. Sir also couldn't make it make to come over here. Those awardees uh, who are unable to make their presence here, in fact, Dr. Hatch had booked his ticket because of border problem with formal registration he could not reach. Those who are not physically present here, we will ensure that their awards are properly presented to them, either physically or by post. Yes, sir. Dr. N. Ramakrishnan, sir was a former head and professor of Division of Entomology, and he is also a national fellow in ICR, and sir's research work on genomic ma mapping of baculoviruses of insect pests during even in the 1980s laid strong foundation for molecular biology of insects in the country. His discovery on late larval resistance on baculoviruses and also characterization of different genes which are related to it is also highly relevant today also. And he has guided a generation of students in insect physiology. Moving to Dr. S. Chailaya, sir. Sir, I welcome you to the stage, sir. Please, sir. And I, re I am requesting Madam also to join, sir. And I am requesting the audience to have a huge round of applause, please. Chellaya, sir, is a former director of research and professor of entomology, Tamil Nadu Agricultural University, Coimbatore. Sir is a senior entomologist whose contribution in rice entomology, especially in pest resistance in rice, is very substantial. And he was the doc doctoral fellow in Iri, Philippines. And he had worked there on insecticide induced resurgence of brown plant hopper and was acclaimed by all the rice growing countries in Asia. On behalf of myself and my wife, I profusely thank Entomological Society of India, especially the President and the Award Committee members for giving this recognition. In my career, the highest award was conferring Doctor of Science degree, honoris causa, by the Tamil Nadu Agriculture University. I was the only retired scientist who was conferred with this degree. So far, nobody in agriculture science got the degree in that university. <clears throat> and this award, I feel it is more than that, since it is my own discipline, entomology, in which I have grown all this time. I'm really happy I could meet many of the senior entomologists 
and the young budding scientists and for the scientists i wish them all the best and thank you very much thank you very much sir for gracing the occasion now i humbly invite dr s n puri sir with his family to the stage sir please Dr. S. N. Puri is the chief patron of Entomological Society of India, and he was the president of India from to president of Entomological Society of India. Sorry, from 2004 to 2022, he is the pioneer in the area of wild pest management, which is spearheading the successful implementation of Assa Village Program in the country. He also served as director of ICR NCIPM and vice chancellor of MPKV Rahuri and Dapoli and Central Agricultural University Imphal. Sir is the longest serving vice chancellor in agricultural university in the country. That is for 16 years. And sir has been the fellow of National Academy of Agricultural Sciences. I am extremely thankful to the Entomological Society of India, not for only honouring me, but honouring Mrs. Puri also with me. She is the person behind. Who are here in this auditorium? They should remember that if you try to walk alone, probably you will not have that success. you should always have some somebody at home to support you so that you can do best service for the science so this is a message thank you everybody and thank you society thank you very much sir for being with us today now i welcome dr samarin chakravarti sir Dr. Samaran Chakravarti is a professor emeritus UGC and professor and head of Department of Zoology, University of Kalyani, West Bengal. He is a renowned taxonomist and focused on taxonomy of aphids, mites, and hymenopteran parasitoids. He has guided a generation of students on taxonomy of hemiptera, hymenoptera, and also in acarology. I should say one thing. Whenever I go to a meeting, whether it is in India or abroad, every time people say taxonomy is the mother of zoology or zoo entomology. So the importance should be given to the to the taxonomist. But and later on we find that no money for taxonomy work. That is the thing what I have seen, and I am really. What should I say? I don't have the language to say that the Entomological Society, with which I am associated since 1972 or 71, 71, 
have selected, have selected taxonomist for the award. Thank you very much. It is it's a great honor for me. Thank you. Bandha Bhupushan Raj, Raju Sharaf is also going to be honored. He is on the way, so we will hold that award a little bit later by the time he arrives. Now we will continue with the honorary fellows. The society, is, uh, this year, from this year, the society has also initiated uh, the honorary fellows. So I am inviting the honorary fellows of ESI 2023. Uh, Dr. Anand Prakash, he couldn't come over here. So he was a founder of Applied Zoologist and Research Association, ASRA. And Sir also served as head department of entomology and in charge director, NRRI Katak. And he's an expert in rice entomology, both in the field of storage and also in field pest management, with special reference to botanicals, and also rice mites and bugs, and uh, which are all deteriorating the grain quality. And Sir also authored 33 books related to entomology. And next coming to Dr. B. Sumrabaniam. And Sir is an insect uh, physiologist and he was a principal scientist at Indian Agricultural Research Institute. And he, Sir has focused his research on research and, uh, on insect endocrine system, especially characterizing the growth regulatory properties of neem and other plant products. And Sir is also an awardee of ICR C. Subramanian Best Teacher Award. And he was instrumental in formulating the course curriculum for advanced courses in insect physiology at IRI. Now I request Dr. H.C. Sharma sir to come over to the stage for the honorary fellow reception. <laughs> Dr. H.C. Sharma as a former vice chancellor of Dr. Y.S. Parmar University of Horticulture and Forestry, Himachal Pradesh and sir was a principal scientist in entomology at ICRISAT. And sir's research was focused on developing insect resistant varieties, use of transgenic crops for pest management, biosoft of GMOs, climate change effects on agriculture, and sustainable crop production for food security. Sir was also awarded the CGIR Excellence in Science Award as an outstanding scientist. Sir is a fellow of Entomological Society of America and fellow of National Academy of Agriculture Sciences. Please. I'll, I'll just take 30 seconds. Thank you, Entomological Society, for recognizing these contributions. And these are dedicated to my teachers and students. Thank you all. Now I call upon to the stage Dr. J.R. Felivio. Sir is a specialized in tropical pest management with over 30 years professional experience. And he is renowned for his work on red palm weevil. And he has wide experience, area-wide control of red palm weevil and other key pests of palms. And sir is now an independent IPM consultant in Middle East countries. And he was a consultant of FOA of the UN. And before becoming the consultant of FAO, sir was principal scientist at ICR, Central Coastal Agriculture Research Institute. And sir has been awarded with Khalifa International Date Palm Award by UAE in the year 2015. So what do I say when there is such a galaxy of entomologists here, from Dr. Puri to Dr. David, my respected and loving teacher, Dr. Ramamurthy, I am lost for words. Uh, this is a fantastic honor. I consider it as the best award I ever got. I got a couple of awards, but this is the best because it came without application. I did not apply for this. 
I was pleasantly surprised by Dr. Ramamurthy one evening. He called me, Falero, how are you? I said, I'm fine, sir. How are you? You have to come to Bangalore. What happened? We have conferred upon you the uh, honorary fellow. So it was a great surprise and honor, and uh, I am humbled to receive this award. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, sir, for gracing the occasion. Next, I would like to... Dr. Bentu, sir, also could not make it. Dr. Jagdish S. Bentur, and sir is a honorary visiting professor at uh, Plant Biotechnology Agri Biotech Foundation, Hyderabad. And sir was a principal scientist in ICR, IARR. And sir is commonly known to everybody as uh, who is working on rice gold mids in India. And sir was, is also a fellow of National Academy of Agriculture Sciences. Back, uh, in fact, Dr. Bentur wanted to join because of his wife's ill health. His presence was uh, essential. Maybe he may be watching this over YouTube. And my congratulations to him. Congratulations to sir. Now I would like to invite Dr. Jagbir Singh Kirti, sir, who is a professor at Department of Zoology and Environmental Sciences, Punjabi University, Patiala. And sir has worked in systematics and taxonomy. And sir is a renowned for his work in the order well, Lepidoptera taxonomy. And he has guided a generation of students on taxonomy of Lepidoptera, Diptera, and Ordinata. Thank you, ESI. I'm proud to receive this award in front of a galaxy of scientists, lions of entomology. Thankful to Dr. Amamurthy and his team. Thanks, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Now I would like to invite Dr. N.K. Krishna Kumar, sir. Okay, sorry. Dr. Lakshmi Kanda Hasariga, sir. Sorry for the inconvenience. I would like to invite Dr. Lakshmi Kanta Hazariga, sir, who is a former dean, faculty of agriculture, Assam Agricultural University, Jorhad, Assam. And the research area of sir includes pest management with particular emphasis on rice, hispa, and pests of tea. He also worked on Muga silkworm. And he has guided a generation of students in his research area. And sir is a member of Entomological Society of America. In front of the so much, so many renowned entomologists, the Entomological Society of India has recognized me as the honorary fellow. I am thankful to them. At least uh, I got a recognition from my own association. Otherwise, I have been actually uh, awarded Fellow of Royal Entomological Society of e M uh, Entomology London and other actually fellows. But this fellow fellowship is the actually biggest achievement in my life. Thank you for the society. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Now I call upon Dr. N. K. Krishnamar, sir, to the stage. Sir is former deputy director of horticulture, ICR, and former director of ICR NBIR, and head division of entomology, ICR IIHR. 
and uh, he was there in biodiversity interna biodiversity international regional representative in south and central asia sir is a renowned vegetable entomologist worked on virus vector relationships especially in thrips he was also has an expert in host plant resistance and also developed many technologies in vegetable pest management yes Uh, very much thankful to the Entomological Society of India. As uh, Dr. Felirro said that the awards where you don't apply and then the recognition comes has a unique taste of its own. I am humbled, honored, and I dedicate this award to Professor C.A. Viraktamat, who initiated me to the science of entomology as an young student way back in 1972 in Darwar. Some entomologists teach you the subject entomology. Some becomes teachers teaching you all aspects of life, hard work, honesty, integrity, and dedication to the subject. I learnt everything and I owe everything to teachers like him. The happiest day of my life will be when I was also a part of the Entomological Society of America. Every year, Entomological Society of America organizes ESA meetings. And as pilgrims go to Mecca, people go to ESA meetings no matter where they are there. When ESA, Entomological Society of India, we move in this direction when everybody considers no matter where they are, every year they should meet and every year they should exchange the information. I think that in that direction I am sure the august body who is heading the ESI will take it. And as we see today, the problems of entomology are also increasing day by day whether it is red spider mites, whether it is tarsonobid mites, whether it is gall bridges, whether they are hoppers, whether they are wood borers, whether they are shot hole borers, whether they are vectors and including vectors of plant and animal diseases, including bed bugs, where you see notice everywhere that the bed bugs catching up. So I feel that a lot more investment is needed, a lot more research is needed and I'm sure together we can strengthen the societies of Entomological Society of India for the welfare of agriculture and the human race itself. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Now I call upon Dr. R.K. Seth, sir, to the stage. Dr. R.K. Seth, sir, is a former professor, University of Delhi, Department of Zoology, who is specialized in radiation biology and insect reproductive biology. More than 30 years of teaching experience he has, and he has guided a generation of students in his research area. And sir was fellow of Royal Entomological Society in 1991. I feel truly humbled and uh, truly honored to receive this award. And uh, I ex express my deep sense of gratitude to Entomological Society of India for this kind gesture. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Now I would like to invite Dr. T.P. Rajendran, sir, with family to the stage. Dr. T.P. Rajendran, sir, as a former Assistant Director General, Plant Protection, ICR, and he was a former Director of ICR NABSM, 
and he was visiting fellow at uh, at research and information system for developing countries he is involved in policy research on harmonization of biosafety regulations for iora nations and sir has worked on cotton entomology with special emphasis on biological control and neem based pesticides Good afternoon, Pranam. I have been humbled by my dear Entomological Society of India, with whom I am associated as member from 1973, and has been in the game of a professional assembling of professionalism in entomological research and the researchers who are across this country. As a zoologist, I feel very, very happy to be recognized by the society because this is the best award I have ever received in my life. Thank you. The Entomological Society of India is very much delighted that we are having Padma Bhubushan Raju D. Sharafji with us. Now I request Sri Raju Sharafji with Madam to come to the dais, please. Those of you who are in the industry line and also entomologists will not be missing Raju Sharaf and his contributions to the pesticide industry. He has been dying of pesticide industry. In fact, UPL has been the flag holder in fumigation. As corporate social responsibility, United Phosphorus Limited has collaborated with Entomological Society of India in conducting grain storage workshop for the benefit of farmers and also in the proper use of pesticides. We are really honored that Raju Sharaf is with us. Let us all give a standing ovation to him and for his contributions to the pesticide industry and entomology in India. Friends and society members, I was planning not to come because doctor's order, I am 90 now. But the way you have followed up, the way you have done, I have decided to come. Uh, 
and after coming here, I am very, very happy to see such a good audience and people. I don't have to tell anything, but as far as agrochemical industry is concerned, as far as agriculture is concerned, future of India is very bright. We have some hurdles and problems, but I'm sure we will solve, and India will grow much faster. You may, may not be aware, but India is today second largest exporter of pesticides. We <laughs> Our company, he mentioned, we are now having our factories, our distribution in 130 countries of the world. And I can tell you, not our company, but any good Indian company, when they produce agrochemicals, their quality is superior and price is competitive. And I can only thank you, scientists. You have helped us, the industry, to grow fast. And we are growing fast. Uh, I started a small-scale unit in 1969. Today, with hurdles, problems, other things, we have crossed 55,000 crores all over. And you must be all knowing that we are the fifth largest agrochemical company in the world. All, all I can tell you, the future of agriculture is very bright in India. All we have to work together, and all we have to do is make farming more profitable. And if our country's economy will improve only if you help farmers and rural area economy has to increase. And that can be done only with agriculture. Once again, I thank you, because future of agriculture is very bright in India. Thank you. With this one, we are concluding the Lifetime Achievement Award and Honorary Fellows of 2023. And I request the audience for a huge round of applause for all of them. And they are our legacies, and we have to follow them in all means. I request you all to have a standing ovation in recognition of the awards of all the Lifetime Achievements and Honorary Fellows of the ASI. ASI joins you in recognizing and give a tribute to all of you. Thank you for gracing this occasion. So, May I now request the August entomologist, the legendary entomologist, to come over here for a group photo. Please, you can come in front of the stage. Please. I request all the awardees, the honorary fellows, to come in front of the stage for a group photo. I request you all, please. <coughs> no, no. no.